Welcome back everybody to another video. I hope you guys are doing great having a fantastic week. Today we got a brand new snapshot called 22W15A introducing a new ability for my friend right here called the Warden. Meet my friend. Hello Warden, say hi. He doesn't care about me, but that's not the point. So yes, the Warden is stronger than ever. And I feel like every week the Warden gets buffed. It has a new ability. It's just something's going on with the Warden that makes it a lot stronger. You know, can jump higher now. A lava fire doesn't really affect it. Water doesn't affect it really. Like it's a professional Olympic swimmer as well. So the Warden is really, really powerful. And I feel like a lot of people on Twitter complain about the Warden. I don't know about my YouTubers and my streamers out there, like how often they complain about the Warden. But I feel like every time I'm on Twitter, someone's saying how the Warden's easy. So... I'm not sure if that's the reason why we're getting more abilities for the Warden. I'm not here to complain about it. I love this creature. And hopefully, you know, with the increase of the powers and the difficulty of the Warden, we get better loot as a result. But yeah, we got a lot to discuss. And uh, we're going to be going over the change log as well as playing around with the Warden's new ability in today's video. So hopefully you guys are really excited for 1.19 as well as the Deep Dark and Ancient City. If you guys want to keep updated with everything going on with Minecraft, please consider joining the Stealth Army. Click that subscribe button. I'd love to see you around here. And yeah, it's going to be great. So uh, with that said, you know the routine, you know the drill. Let's check out the change log. New features in 22W15A include added advancement when the squad hops into town for getting each frog variant on Elite. Added Advancement Sneak 100 for sneaking near a Skulk Sensor or a Warden to prevent it from hearing you. Added a new ranged attack for the Warden, which is why we're making this video right now is because the Warden is beefier, stronger, faster, and better looking than ever. So yes, a new ability, and I don't know if it has a name, but here's a description. Building up high, hiding behind walls, or being out of range of their powerful melee attack will cause wardens to switch to their ranged attack. The rip cages will open up to shriek a sonically charged ranged attack that can penetrate walls. So that last part right there is truly what makes this terrifying. The attack can go through walls. So the first thing we're going to do is test out the range of the warden's ability. So we got four blocks right there. I believe that's five, six, and seven. Maybe we can do one that's like eight as well, just in case. So yeah, we got uh, basically a couple pillars right here. And then that way we can see how far the warden can truly attack you. So let's go ahead and uh, summon the warden really quick. Actually, I might want to sleep. So let's go ahead and get a bed. And then that way, if I do die, I can just get back here. I changed a couple things really quick, starting with the height. So this is five blocks. And then I think we got uh, seven. We got nine, 10, 11, and I think 12 at the very end. Uh, because I think the warden can hit you around four blocks, maybe even five blocks. So I guess we'll find out really quick. So what we'll do is we will spawn the warden and then go into survival. And hello, warden. You remember me? <laughs> the warden's like, I smell something. <laughs> So we are at five blocks, and that way the warden is probably going to have to switch things up. Yep, you see me? Or you hear me? You don't see me because you're blind. Yes, you do hear me, though. I'm right here. I'm right out of your range, I think. I guess we'll find out. Let's see what this new ability could do. Yep, right here, buddy. Yep, you see me. Do you want some uh, some food? I got some food for you here. <laughs> <laughs> have some food oh my gosh oh my goodness that was actually a little terrifying <laughs> that was actually terrifying wow wow what an ability right there in fact we're gonna go ahead and skip this seven i think this is seven one two three four five six seven we're gonna go all the way up to eight yeah, let's just go ahead and skip seven. We're going to eight because that already looks like it has tremendous range. Wow, that was intense. I was not expecting that at all. Here I am. Come over here, Warden. Yes, you remember me? Go ahead, try that again. So we are at, I believe, nine blocks or eight. I think eight blocks. So let's get a little bit more movement. 
And let's see what happens. The warden's frustrated. Yes, you can't hit me. You can't hit me, so go ahead and open up your chest. Nope, that's cheating, sir. That's cheating, and you know it. <laughs> that is cheating. Stop cheating. The warden does not care. Here he goes. Wow. That is incredible. We're going to burn that tree really quick um, so it doesn't affect the results. We are 13 blocks up right now. The warden just sensed me. He's really angry. He can't reach me. Now we're just waiting for the warden to do that new attack. Go ahead. Try it. Yep, I'm right here. I think it just did it. We're 13 blocks up, and I think it just did the move, and we weren't physically hurt. We weren't hurt at all. We weren't harmed. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Wow! The range on that attack is absurd! Wow! We are 13 blocks up. So let's go back into survival. So we are in survival for our 20 block experiment, and I made a ladder just so the warden doesn't lose me, because I feel like this high up, we might even lose the warden. This is really high up for towering. Um, so we'll see what happens. The warden knows I'm up here, I think. I don't know if I lost the warden. Can't really tell at this point. Yep, there it is. Oh my gosh. So it did the move right there, but it was aiming at the bed, which is really odd. But let's see, I honestly don't know if the Warden is- okay. We might lose the Warden because we are that high up. But the ability has so much range that it can still hit us if the Warden detects us. But 20 blocks up, I think we're safe at that point. I think we're far enough where the Warden can't smell us. So that honestly might be it. Getting out of the range where the warden can't smell you anymore is probably the safest bet. So I don't know if that's 20 blocks up. I can't really tell, but so far I'm still alive. So more than likely that is 20 blocks up. Okay, there it is. All right, so the warden senses me. We are 20 blocks up. Let's see what happens. The warden just detected me again. Nope. I think that's it, guys. 20 blocks... I would say you are safe. So that is really, really high up. Oh my gosh. No, you are not safe at 20 blocks. Wow. That is truly terrifying. So I think for anybody that simply wants to survive the ancient city, like you don't care about fighting the warden, maybe you just want to escape the warden, I think digging down is your safest bet. Um, because I feel like building up, especially by the time you get to even 20 blocks, you're probably going to be dead unless you're able to like sprint away quick enough where the warden doesn't sense you. It can't smell you. That's another solution. I've lost the warden a couple times just by sprinting away. But in terms of pillaring and building up, I feel like this is a done deal. 20 blocks, maybe possibly 30 blocks. Um, it's just not efficient. It's not reliable. I would not pillar up at all. But let's go ahead and test out how thick the walls can be before you're actually safe. Because that's another idea, is probably just to dig into a wall, and then that way you can escape the warden. So, uh, more than likely, we're going to die right here. It's only one block thick, but we got two blocks thick, and then we got three blocks thick. If it exceeds this, uh, we'll go ahead and keep testing it until we're safe. But I have a feeling three blocks, we should be okay. So let's go ahead and summon the warden, and then we will hop into survival. So the warden knows I'm right here. Um, more than likely, we're just gonna die right here. I think the ability can reach through one block. It can go through one block. That was basically confirmed, yes. <laughs> that was pretty much confirmed, uh, with the change log. So, that's not surprising right there. Um, let's go ahead and test out the, uh, two blocks and see what happens. The warden has officially detected me, and, uh, I think- oh gosh. I think both of them have detected me. I probably should have got rid of that warden over there. But we are two blocks thick, two blocks deep, and so far, we are still alive. So I think two blocks... Oh my gosh! Wow! I have been completely wrong with every guess. Every theory today, I have been completely wrong. That is honestly shocking. Wow, so let's go to three blocks and see what happens.
So this time we are doing three blocks, and uh, I'm not sure anymore. I'm not even sure what to believe. This ability is so strong, it might honestly be a little bit broken. Um, wow, this is crazy. So let's see what happens. Three blocks deep right here. Three blocks thick. And I'm not even sure. I'm probably going to die, honestly. I don't even think there's a safe place in the ancient city. Yeah, that's just wild to me. Two blocks. Now three blocks. Wow. Wow. Uh, what honestly is happening with this ability? <laughs> they truly added one of the strongest abilities in the entire game. Guaranteed death is what I'm calling this ability. Guaranteed death. So we're going to go ahead. Oh my gosh. We're going to try four blocks just to see what happens. I'm probably going to die. So let's hop into here. The warden's upset as usual. And I don't think we're safe. Four blocks. I don't think we're safe at five. I don't even, yep, we're not safe at four blocks. So, this might be one of those things where we just have to test it on stream. Um, because as of right now, I'm not seeing a weakness in this ability. Our final test will be six blocks. And I have a feeling we're going to die at six blocks, to be honest. I feel like this ability is sort of exceeding the limitations of Skulk, the reach of Skulk. The sensors, just everything about the skulk i feel like they can't even detect you past 10 blocks so I, I don't know i feel like this range trying to escape past 10 blocks seems a little excessive uh just considering that the skulk can't even reach you they can't detect you at that range i might be wrong but it just feels like this ability is a little bit too much in terms of what it can do um, and I don't know, maybe if it just pushed you like a knockback, I wouldn't really be complaining. But let me know what you guys think about the Warden's new ranged attack. So let's go ahead and hop into survival. One, two, three, four, five, six. We are at six blocks. I don't think I'm safe. I've been saying that like the past five, ten minutes, but it just, it doesn't feel safe at all anywhere with the Warden. So I feel like it's guaranteed death at this point. If the Warden is yeah if the warden basically spawns or is summoned from the shrieker i feel like it's guaranteed death uh pretty much in all directions i haven't really tested going underground just digging straight down um but at that point i would just say don't stop digging just keep digging right so uh hopefully this helped you guys at least in uh figuring out how you feel about this is this a good thing is this a bad thing uh do they need to add more and what would you like to see in terms of loot? Because if they're going to make the Warden quite possibly the strongest mob by a long shot uh, in the entire game, then they have to consider the rewards. Because I I'm not going to die for Lure 2. I'm not going to die for Unbreaking 2 or 3. I'm not going to die for, you know, Sharpness 3. Um, those are some of the things you're going to find in the Ancient City outside of the Shards. So they really have to compensate the player. They really have to consider... What are the rewards for such a high risk? So, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. And I'll see you all in the next video. So, take care. Peace.